Okay guys, it's worktop day and today it's the compact laminate worktops and this is a new thing, they've not been around very long and it's not like fitting a standard worktop you need a brand new blade every time because this stuff will just kill your blades and if you don't use a new one it will chip and damage the worktops now these worktops, these are the compact laminate you get official fixing kit which comes with sanding pads and your resin glue and your biscuit joints and other numerous bits and pieces they all come at 610 just over millimeters wide and if you're doing the handle the systems like we are you will need to cut these down to 600 because otherwise you're just going to smash your hands getting into your worktop so we've already cut this one down to 600 and we've already polished these edges need polishing doesn't matter how they come you have to polish these edges because they have a really nasty sharp edge so you have to put a little polish on the edge all the way around this one's already been done we've got another one there just about ready to cut down to 600 and then obviously you cut your hob out and your sink out over there uh, you don't might you don't do a mason mitre it's a butt joint so you have to scribe and I'll show you how we do that in a minute you will also need these which are my new suction clamps and this is how you pull it together while the, re while the epoxy glue goes off I'll show you that momentarily so as you can see we've got this one all set up ready to cut to our worktops uh, it's quite hard going on your blades, so don't rush. Let the saw do the work. Got that cut to just oversized and we've got it cut to our 600 width so now what I've got to do is I've got to mark the underside here which is quite easy just inside that cabinet I'm going to mark it which is our scribe line which is where we're going to have to cut this worktop so that we get a clean butt joint to this one so make sure you've got a sharp pencil mine's a bit blunt so we get a clean line we're going to cut that and then hopefully that will butt straight in and then we've got to put biscuit joints in which I'm going to use a router. Worktops will cut to length, you've then got to put your biscuit joints in. Now what I've done is I've done marks for three biscuit joints and I'm using this router which is a palm router and I'm using basically it's a biscuit router bit. And I'm going to route that roughly central three times, making sure you do not go beyond your measurement of your worktop, which is 600 in this case. Done all that, it's time to glue your worktops. So, this is your epoxy resin, you've got to squirt that out, mix it all together, make sure you put plenty in your slots, and get a good coat on your edge. Now you've got to make sure you use your suction clamps to pull your worktops tight together. You only get literally five minutes with this stuff. So you need to make sure everything's right. And using these little ones here is what pushes your worktop up and down so that you get a nice, clean, Flush join. Under the front there, just to get. Okay. Beautiful. Just got to leave that now for five minutes. Let that glue, and then we'll clean off the excess while that's going off. They supply you with some special wipes. Here they are. You use these wipes, and you carefully clean off the excess before it goes off. I've already done it. That is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that join. 
It's nearly gone off now. I can probably take the clamps off, but it says five minutes, but not taking that chance. But while that's going off, I'm building a little upstand, which is here, which we've cut and mitered. Just gluing that on. We're going to put a, it's just all having a glass, a coloured glass upstand, so that base will be done in the glass as well. And this is going to be a cap which goes on top of that just to give us the uh, the illusion of a nice thick up stand stay tuned people don't forget like follow and share